My name's Anya Turl and I'm an Irish singer-songwriter. I left Ireland a couple of years ago thinking I'd be here for a year. And now, five years later, here I am releasing my debut album in Australia, which seems a far way away from the burn in County Clare. <laughs> journey to drive into the desert to record the album wasn't really part of the plan. It just sort of happened. I'd always stayed really coastal in Australia, being a surfer and being from the west coast of Ireland, it just was home to me. But at a time when I really needed to be home, I really needed to feel that spirit of place. You know, and the burn is just full of rocks. It's really earthing. The desert seemed like the only place I was going to find it. Just a vast, open skies, beautiful red dirt. Uh, it filled me up somehow, just like the burn. And it gave me my voice back, you know, not just my musical voice. I mean, that, that was incredible recording in those amazing places. And um, But it was really my own voice that returned to me and that that little inner knowing that um, your heart that's telling you all along what you should be doing but for all various reasons in life we, we ignore that yeah when, once I was out there it just it, it, it came at me very strongly and that resonated deeply with me and, and it's resonated through the album and somehow through all the songs as well just that, that journey into the interior was more than just a journey into the heart of this beautiful country, but it was into the interior of me and finding who I am again. finish acoustic guitars and finish vocals and we're going to build it backwards. So it's going to be um, interesting. Thank you. I feel very blessed to have been on that trip. It was a really great experience. 
I remember my first gig back from the desert. It was a real game changer. I remember I met up with Claire Bowditch soon after it. And I said, Claire, I don't know what happened there. They're all crying. She said, Anya, you're onto something here. You can expect if you see me solo or with a full band, quirky fiddles, amazing bass and real tribal drums and interesting guitar parts. And either way, whether we're rocking solo or with a band... We'll go through the full range of emotions in one night, perhaps even in one song, you know. We'll uh, laugh and then we'll cry and then we'll come back together again and we'll find some light by the end of it all. So, yay. Oh, and we have a name for the album, which is pretty exciting. Uh, the Queen of Swords, um, which happened up in the church, actually. And when Rosie came down, Rosie's learned to read tarot had read my tarot at Christmas and I was kind of in a bit of a dark place and, and so when he came down to record he said let's do your tarot cards again and I said all right and so he did them and it pointed to much more light and it came the Queen of Swords. It's a card that really represents me and my journey this year and although you come from you can come from a place of sorrow or darkness you don't hold on to it and you move off into the light and um, that's really what the entire album, the experience, the whole um, journey of this has been about. So watch out. <laughs> Queen of Swords reigns supreme. <laughs> I just need a sword now. <laughs> Who's got a sword? <laughs> To be like, yeah, here, take this, you know, whatever, shed or whatever place and make it your home. Enjoy my cave because what you're doing is awesome. And, you know, it's very, um, yeah, very humbling and just it's powerful. It's powerful when you put your intentions out there and then the universe just says, oh, look. I've mapped this out for you, and oh look, I have these amazing people that want to help you do it, and it's just, it feels like a huge achievement, something I never, ever, yeah, I just never thought that, um, that I, could, I could do this. And it's, it, it's happening, I'm doing it, and I can't wait to actually put it into someone's hands. That's going to be a really exciting day. 